evangelist Dilay Shannon. I'm a motivational speaker and an author, inspiring and encouraging people to live for Christ and to live a true Christian lifestyle. My passion is to share God's grace radically and to see lives gloriously transformed. So the thing I wanted to tell you is, God bless you and enjoy today's video. everybody may god bless you welcome to another bible study session welcome to day two of joshua's bible study today we'll be going to discuss some important parts from the book of joshua first we will be going to read joshua chapter 6 some important parts from joshua chapter 6 in that the bible tells us now jericho was tightly shut up because of the israelites no one went out or no one came in then the lord said to joshua see that i see i have delivered jericho into your hands along with its kings and its fighting men Joshua got up early the next morning and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. The seven priests carrying the seven trumpets went forward, marching before the ark of the Lord and blowing trumpets. The armored men, the armored men went ahead of them and the rear guard followed the ark of the Lord while the trumpets kept sounding. So on the second day they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. They did this for six days. On the seventh day, they got up at daybreak and marched around the city seven times in the same manner, except that on the dead day, they circled the city seven times. The seventh time around when the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. The city and all that is in it are to be devoted to the Lord. Only Rahab the prostitute and all who are with her in her house shall be spared, because she hid the spies we sent. But keep away from the devoted things, so that you will not bring about your own destruction by taking any of them. Otherwise, you will make the camp of Israel liable to destruction and bring trouble on it. All the silver and gold and the articles of bronze and iron are sacred to the Lord and must go into his treasury. When the trumpet sounded, the people shouted, and at the sound of the trumpet, when the people gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed. By this you could understand the extraordinary and amazing power of God. So every man charged straight in, and they took the city. But Joshua spared Rahab the prostitute with her family and all who belonged to her. Because she hid the men Joshua had sent as spies to Jericho, and she lives among the Israelites to this day. And after this, my dear friends, now these are the areas the Israelites received as an inheritance in the land of Canaan, which Eliezer, the priest, Joshua, son of Nun, and the heads of the tribal clans of Israel allotted to them. Hebron has been given to Caleb an allotment for Judah and also uh, an allotment for Ephraim, Ephraim and Manasseh and also the division of the rest of the land an allotment for Benjamin an allotment for Simeon an allotment for Sebulun, Sebulun an allotment for Issachar an allotment for Esher an allotment for Naphtali an allotment for Dan and an allotment for Joshua just like that the the city has been the land has been divided among them as their inheritance among the clan among the tribes of Israel. Joshua has conquered many kings and conquered the land Canaan. After this, Joshua divided Canaan as the inheritance to priest Eliezer and to all the tribes of the sons of Israel. That means Jacob. The land has been divided among those tribes. So my dear friends, so I hope everything is coherent in today's Bible study. So thanks for watching and God bless you. See you in the next video. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you in all the days of your life. Amen and God bless you richly.